guys, my name is Kiki and welcome to my channel. I've been a crafter for almost 30 years, yeah, that long. <laughs> but if you want to learn how to decorate your home on a budget while having fun at it, subscribe, hit the like and stay tuned. DIY number one and we're going to make this beautiful, well, not so beautiful, sign, a tray. And I did this for a sign that i will link you in the description box down below i'm gonna use this yellow paint and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna cover it completely like this all the bottom of the tray then i'm gonna take tape and i'm gonna apply that tape just skipping one of the sides let me just show you i will add a piece of that tape like this then i'm gonna skip <laughs> the same size and then i'm gonna add the other one like this i'm gonna repeat that all around then i'm gonna apply some yellow paint like this to prevent kind of <laughs> the bleeding after that i'm gonna add black paint and this is what's going to make the b type of color or pattern <laughs> and i'm just gonna apply it like this all around it and I'm gonna cover all of those empty spaces. After that, I gave it a second coat because you can see here that it wasn't like too dark. Now I'm just removing the tape and this is the most satisfying part when you don't have bleeding. Right now, as you can see, I have a little bit of bleeding. So I'm gonna correct that so this becomes satisfying again. <laughs> and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint the bottom part of that and then I'm gonna grab a small paintbrush and I'm gonna start correcting my bleeding like this, just painting it like that. After I finish with that, I'm going to take this decal that I made on my Cricut and I'm going to apply it over here. After that, we will have a beautiful tray that it could be a sign as well. Now let me show you. And here you can see it and I'm using it as a tray. And I'm so in love with this one. You can use it on your bathroom or maybe on your kitchen. Let me know what you think. And this is part of the BCB collab that my beautiful friend Mary Beth from MB Great Designs is hosting and we're joining CJ from CJ DIY and myself to make this awesome B collab. <laughs> In the description box down below, you're gonna find the link to the playlist and also to both of their channels so you can go and check them out and also check out the playlist to see what they came up with. DIY number two and for this one we're gonna take a canvas and we're gonna take this beautiful stickers that I got from Craspire and in the description box down below you're gonna find all the info for them and I'm gonna talk to you about them in a little bit more time <laughs> now I'm just making sure that I can add my stickers and I'm just removing the backing like this and I'm gonna start applying it to my canvas just like that and I'm gonna apply all of them leaving a space in the middle because we're gonna be adding something else so I'm gonna continue just adding them like this and those flowers are so beautiful you can use them for anything let me just finish applying them like this over here as you can see i don't know how to work with a sticker <laughs> so i had to get my tweezers just to make sure that i can remove it from the backing and then i'm gonna apply it to the canvas and after that we will be ready to apply the other thing that i want to add here and you will see it in a bit now what I have here is the gnome and you will find the link to this gnome in the description box down below. This one is the cutest thing ever and it is a bee gnome. <laughs> so I'm, what I'm doing is I'm just weeding everything and after I finish with that, I'm going to start assembling my gnome. And for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my transfer tape and I'm going to start transferring my design or the pieces of my design to each other let me just finish weeding this and we can move on to that here you can see the transfer tape and i'm gonna transfer my b happy b <laughs> and that will be on the front of the shirt of the gnome let me just remove it from this backing 
and after that we will be ready to apply it here you can see it now we're going to apply it we're going to remove the transfer tape and then we can move on to applying the two braids <laughs> and look at them they are so cute they look more like ponytails but yeah the ponytails <laughs> and after i finish with that we're going to move on to applying the hands let me just finish with this make sure that it is where it should be and then we're going to grab those hands here and we're going to apply them to our gnome here you have them let me remove that now we're going to grab the nose and we're going to apply that nose as well after we finish with that we're going to grab our hat and we're going to grab our transfer tape and i'm going to take the lines here and i'm going to apply those lines to the hat let me just make sure that they are in my transfer tape and here we're adding them like this after we add that we're going to be ready to transfer our design here you can see the gnome now i'm going to take the bottom part of the gnome and i'm going to apply it to the canvas just like this making sure that i have it and i'm going to apply it over here make sure that it is adhered to that then i'm going to grab the hat and with that we have a beautiful gnome let me just add it over here and here you can see it it's looking so cute but this needs a little bit extra so you know me i needed to add a frame to add the extra <laughs> and i used some stir sticks that i cut like this to the size of my canvas using my miter shears you can find those in my amazon front store let me just cut it and then i cut the excess using the same miter shears then i'm gonna measure them like this and then I'm gonna start gluing them and for that I just used my hot glue gun like that and I'm gonna glue the top and the bottom ones first then after I add those I'm gonna add the side ones and as you can see I just add my hot glue apply my wood piece make sure that it is set and move on to the other side like that and now we can add bees because this is a bee gnome <laughs> and i'm gonna add a couple of them here and there like this i'm gonna remove the backing of those you can find those ones as well in my amazon front store and i glued them and that's it here you can see it and this one is one of my favorites it's a bee gnome <laughs> let me know what you think about him in the comments below and here as you can see we have Craspire and in the description box down below you're gonna find all the links to them including the products that I'm using here and the ones that I got from them you will also find a coupon code if you get more than $40 from them so go and check them out you're gonna love everything they have there here you can see a little bit of what they have on their website so go and check them out you're gonna love everything they have over there i got beautiful products from them and i used here the stickers and i also used their beautiful stencil that i used to make beautiful signs that you will see in a little bit go and check them out they have everything over there including stencils paper crafting everything you need for your beautiful designs so go and check them out as you can see over here they have beautiful things DIY number three and we're gonna take this sign from Dollar Tree and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove all of those leaves and thingies and I'm gonna keep this part the farmers market part and I use plaster over here but then I decided to paint it white so I'm gonna give it a first coat of plaster and after that I'm gonna come back and paint it in white after I finish with this I'm gonna let it dry give it that second coat and we can work with it and here you can see it and it is white now I'm gonna take this beautiful stencil from Craspire and I'm gonna use the bath one over here and I'm gonna add a little bit of tape then I'm gonna start pouncing with this foam brush and I'm gonna start painting it like this and I added a little bit more paint than I needed but I just love it because I was looking for a farmhouse handmade kind of look so that's why I decided to make it with a stencil now I'm gonna go all around it like this remove my stencil and here you can see it now I'm taking some fishing line and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this beautiful beads that I got from Amazon and I'm gonna take the bee ones those white bee ones 
those <laughs> and I'm gonna start adding them like that and I added like eight of them uh, give or take it what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip it over I tried with a stapler but this time it's really hard so I decided to come back with my glue gun glue it like this add a little bit of tape to the back like you will see now and I'm gonna add a little bit here and a little bit here then I'm gonna cut the excess of that tape and I'm gonna cut the excess of that fishing line and we will have a beautiful sign let me flip it over here you can see it and look at that it's so beautiful so simple so elegant let me know what you think about this one in the comments below if you're new here thank you so much for clicking on this video i would love for you to subscribe and become part of our youtube family and if you're a returning subscriber you know how much i love you in the description box down below you're gonna find the links to all of my social media so you can go and check me out over there and we can be friends and have lots of fun DIY number four or our last DIY and I'm gonna take this sign from Dollar Tree and I'm gonna grab my plaster paint from Waverly and I'm gonna give it a good coat of this plaster paint it will need like half a coat again after that one and I'm gonna let it dry then I'm gonna grab black paint and that's sponge brush and I'm gonna take my stencil from Craspire and I'm gonna add this beautiful relax soak and unwind stencil I'm gonna add a little bit of tape to each end like this just to make sure that my stencil stays where I want it and I'm gonna use acrylic black paint and as I did a little bit earlier I took a little bit too much paint <laughs> but I was looking for the rustic like farmhouse look so it didn't bother me so if you want to just make it a look a little bit more crisp you just have to add less paint that i did here so i'm gonna go all around it like that and after i finish with that i'm gonna remove my stencil like that and it is looking so cute now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna grab my wooden bees from Amazon and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue a couple of them here and there just to make it a be relax soak and unwind <laughs> now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the plasticky thingy that they have on the back add a little bit of hot glue glue them where I want them and after I finish with that we have a beautiful bathroom sign look at that it's looking so cute and here you can see it and this one is super cute I just love it I want to know what you think about it in the comments below so let me know what you think if you want to buy me some crafting supplies you will find this link in the description box down below you don't have to do that you can support your favorite creator by watching sharing and liking their videos but if you want to buy me crafting supplies this link you will find it in the description box down below and you will get a shout out in my channel and here you can see all of them together once more remember that this is part of the bcb collab and in the description box down below you're gonna find the link to the playlist and also to both of their ladies that are joining i just want to take this opportunity to thank mary beth but for putting this awesome collab together remember that also you will find there the links to all of the craspired products that i used and also to their link so you can go and check them out Remember to check out the playlist because you're going to find lots of beautiful things over there. And that's it for today. This is everything I have for you. Remember to share this video with a friend and also hit the thumbs up. Let me know if you like this one so I can keep them coming <laughs> in the comments below. Take care, my beautiful friends. Bye-bye.